Uh, we're here at FFECON 2022. Um, we've got 250 plus fin crime professionals from the fintech industry here. Loads of great speakers. Really looking forward to the day. It was so great to be back at FFECon 2022. It was amazing to see everyone. I think there was a really great energy um, for the event today and for just bringing everyone together to talk about the latest things in anti-financial crime and how we need to tackle them. Oh, being in a physical environment with actual people, like-minded people as well. Oh God, I've missed that. It's not often that you get um, events like this where you can actually connect with other financial crime professionals and showcase the work that we do and also get to see some really good panellists talk about the work that they do and get insights into other areas of financial crime that I might not usually. And this is intelligent sharing in action. You, you come to a conference where you see a list of kind of panels, you maybe circle one or two and think, oh, I really hope this is a good panel. But what I've seen today has been panel after panel after panel has been consistently high quality and, and super, super interesting. I really like the discussion about the SWIFT exclusion because it's a difficult question and we got answers from people that actually know what they're talking about. The best moment that I had was seeing the diverse panel when it was coming to discuss anti-money laundering and AI and the use of AI alongside that. It is so fantastic to see empowered women with so much experience and skill on a panel that rarely happens, especially talking about a subject as important as AI. It was great to hear from so many different voices and from different companies representing lots of different products and services in the fintech industry. Hearing the Tinder swindler victim stories, I thought that was quite brave of her to come and actually explain her story from her perspective and also kind of gave me a good insight in thinking about kind of fraud education a little bit more broadly for customers. Um, I work in a bank so it just kind of gave me a bit of food for thought. It's just a great way to keep in touch with things that you don't necessarily focus on. So for instance, I like the data uh, session that took place today and I've realised actually you know, it's more important to be connected with the different parts of um, all the fields that work together to kind of tackle financial crime. It's something that I don't focus on too much, that's not my area, but um, I found a lot of insight um, that I'll kind of take back to work and see if I can be a bit more helpful in that area. I don't think I can actually put it down to one moment. There were so many good moments. There were a complete range of panels today, which was absolutely amazing. It pulled on so many different threads across the whole scope of financial crime, which was amazing. Since joining the FFE, I just stopped feeling alone in my decisions. I can speak to people, I can weigh my decisions with other people that have been through the same journey as I'm going through now. And I think, for me, this is the most valuable thing that I'm getting out of the FFE, and that's why I love it. I love the FFE because it's opened up quite a lot of opportunities for me, just simply mostly networking really. I've met a lot of interesting people in this industry that I perhaps may not have come across if this network didn't exist. I've also been able to kind of showcase more junior members of staff to this network and they've been able to connect with people. Um, I kind of love the intelligence that gets posted. I like the fact that I can reach out to somebody in an industry same, similar to my field and find out typologies and kind of talk about the types of things that we're seeing. I think it's a great network. And the key thing I've taken away is the power of collaboration, to see everybody in the room discussing, networking outside, sharing moments and sharing thoughts on the stage and off the stage. That's so empowering to see. Every time you thought you understood an issue, every time you thought you knew uh, a, a field, uh, you can probably learn a lot, lot more. And that's only one, but it kept happening again and again and again. I uh, hope you had a fantastic day and looking forward to seeing you at the next one.